All right, welcome to part two. Actually, it's going to be part eight of the series, right? <laughs> so I'm going to move this aside. I'm going to actually leave this uh, tobacco fermenter on only so that um, during this process so that I can see what exact temperature we're going to be at, um, you know, in say about five minutes from now. So I'm just going to leave that with the thermometer in there. Thermometer is in there only so that we can gauge, you know, how temperatures are. If you're reaching temperatures of 150, you know, turn it off or get a lower watt light bulb or something. You know, it's, that's a little too hot. Don't want anything to combust spontaneously in there, um, obviously. So that rag was for the light bulb. Okay, so here we go with our um, color cured tobacco. Uh, this is Virginia again. Um, I have all these color coatings. So these are Havana's. Uh, Virginia, white, zip tie, Havana, zip the black, Virginia, uh, so this looks like a Virginia. So you can see that the Virginia is a lighter color than the uh, darker Havana. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of these leaves into the same uh, plastic bag. So what we're going to do for the humi humidity um, is we're just going to put these leaves into a bread bag like, like this. Um, and spray um, some distilled water on them to keep the humidity up. Um, you know, again, there's so much air movement in the tobacco fermenter that if it's not in a plastic bag, it actually dries up relatively quick in, quickly. And I'm talking like 20 minutes, it'll be crispy dry. So um, the only way to retain that moisture as well as keep it, uh, having it continuously exposed to the warmth um, is to put it in a light plastic bag so, just so that it has some kind of membrane to hold all that moisture in. We're trying to simulate the inside of a compost heap um, in Central America when they're done uh, color curing their tobaccos in their, their curing barn. They actually take them down and throw them into huge uh, compost piles, piles and piles of tobacco, much more than we have in just our little handful here. Um, in the center of these compost heaps, um, you know, you have the 120 degree temperatures as well as the 75% relative humidity. So what we're trying to do is simulate that, that um, condition so that these leaves react in the same way that they would inside of a um, tobacco compost heap. Uh, you know, they really monitor their temperatures as well, and when it reaches a certain temperature, they take apart the whole heap, shake the leaves to oxygenate it, and then reassemble the compost heap, let it heat up again, um, and do it you know, for about four or five cycles. So, which is why we're trying to do this with our leaves. We're gonna keep it in the 120 degree temperatures, 75% relative humidity, just like those compost heaps, and it needs to maintain that temperature for six weeks. Um, again, the hardest process for any home grower, um, and uh, to me the biggest reason why this is legal to grow in your own yard. I think if it was any easier than this, where you can um, just pick a leaf off a plant and start smoking it, it could quite possibly be an illegal substance. <laughs> but there's so much process involved in this, I think the government probably believes that Nobody would do this. Nobody in the right mind would actually go through all this process. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to um, cut off these zip ties. And I'm going to create what's called a hand of tobacco leaves. A hand is similar to what we did when we tied them up in the first place. Is this a bunch of tobacco leaves tied into one. Uh, but it just makes it easier for the fermentation process and then when you want to oxygenate it you just kind of shake it out like this. So what I need now is another black zip tie and I'll be right back. So again hopefully you um, have your uh, tobacco fermenter outside of your house uh, but for the first couple of days you do want to meet, uh, check on your temperatures, check on the heat of the cooler. Like right now I can feel that this cooler doesn't have very much heat at all. I can almost not feel any heat in there. Really, um, it's very cool to the touch on the outside. But you want to check on this probably like five or six times a day, just on the first day alone. Um, and also just to make sure that you have enough humidity in your plastic bag here. Um, I'm just going to kind of fold this leaf up so it fits. There's still a little bit of humidity in these leaves themselves, but I'm going to amend it with a spritz. Actually, I'm going to cut the zip tie off. with a spritz of distilled water. And we want to use distilled water because we don't want to uh, introduce any new microbes at this point. You know, we want to treat everything as a sterile substance, even though the leaves themselves are not sterile. 
But it's a good thing because we wanted to um, go through some biological processes. So I'm just going to twist it. Make sure that there's a little bit of air in there so that it um, has some oxygen to um, do some aerobic fermentation. I just simply have a um, clothes pin here. You can use a twist tie or even a piece of tape, <laughs> masking tape. And I'm just going to place it right into our fermenter and put our thermometer right on top. And you know what? This thermometer could actually burst it. <laughs> It's, it's far above 120 degrees. Um, I'm actually going to put it underneath the tobacco so that um, I see how hot it is under the tobacco. Um, but yeah, obviously we're running a little hot here. But you know, it doesn't feel that warm. It doesn't feel like the cooler was about to combust at all. So there we go. There, there's our first crop. Basically, tobacco in there, thermometer underneath the leaves. Then I'm going to check on this in about 10 minutes and I'll um, come back and add that to the end of this video. All right, so here we are 10 minutes into our fermentation process and let's give it a check. I can feel that it is pretty warm in there. I can feel the um, bags themselves are pretty, um, they're not hot, they're just you know kind of warm and you can see from this the um, the steam or the the mist on the inside of those bags that it is kind of warm inside of the bags and um, it is beginning to sweat um, so, so you can take a look here's the bottom of the leaves they're going to get a little wet on the bottom but don't worry that will resolve itself soon and I want to check on this kind of fast because the temperature is probably dropping but I um, think it was probably at the 110 mark um, so you know and that's underneath the leaf obviously on the top of the leaves on Top of the plastic bag is probably much hotter than that. I think we're talking maybe 140 degrees. Um, but again, you do want to check on this every so often. Um, and you want to check it more often when you start the process. Just to make sure everything's going well. Um, and obviously nothing's going to combust on you. Um, I'm just going to continue this. Uh, 10 minutes into the process, I think we only have about 30,000 more hours on this. Um, it's going to be a long process until we get anything that we can smoke. Um, you know, natural processes take time. Uh, what I'll do is I'll try to um, do little update videos, hopefully weekly, and um, show you what's going on. But, you know, as for tobacco fermenter, this is it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions below. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, happy growing, happy fermenting, and we'll see you next video. Uh, we're going to do some uh, cool little interesting plants coming up. So, again, this is an exotic plant channel, so let's try to keep it at that. So uh, thanks again for watching and happy growing.